What's up, Diamonds? It's your boy, Christopher Doc Reed, your favorite relationship and life coach out here telling you what your father didn't tell you and your mother did not know about these here relationships. Listen, if you want to know how to beat a manipulator, ladies, at his own game, I'm going to tell you. Now, let me say this, okay? As far as narcissists go, I would say every narcissist is a manipulator, but not every manipulator is a narcissist. And also, not every man is a manipulator, okay? So now that we got that straight, let's talk about these manipulators. So a manipulator, ladies, approaches women like a bank robber approaches robbing banks. Okay, so what's he going to do? He's going to learn everything that he can about banks, just banks in general. He wants to learn about all the different types of safes. He wants to learn about, you know, the tellers, the positions of, you know, where the, the tellers are in relationships to the safe and all that. Everything he can learn. So that's how a guy who's a manipulator approaches women. He wants to learn everything that he can about women in general. So he's going to read all the personal self-help books, all the books you're reading, okay, about human behavior, okay, and persuasion. He's going to read how to win friends and influence people, okay, so that he can have a general overall understanding about human behavior, all right? So now, how does he implement this? So if you're dating, you're talking, so you say you just met this guy, now, you're having these long marathon conversations, okay? Five hour long conversations, right? And you're talking and you're sharing. You're up to four or five o'clock in the morning, knowing that you gotta be at work at eight, but you don't care. Let me tell you ladies what the manipulator knows about this. He knows that while he has you talking, and while he's listening, it's building this sense of closeness, okay? And what happens, ladies, is you start to feel like there's some kind of intimacy going on. You start to feel very bonded to this individual, but you know what you have? You have the illusion of intimacy. You don't have no intimacy. I mean, you don't really even know this guy, but you just had some conversations, right? So let's take it back to the bank robber. Now, when the bank robber identifies a specific bank, that he wants to rob. Now, he has to learn about that particular bank. It's no longer general, okay? All right? So, he has to learn specifically where that safe is. Now, let's put this in context with a guy who's a manipulator, all right? He's got to know your fears and your values. What are you afraid of, okay? But also, at the same time, what do you appreciate? Now, okay, that's a lot right there. He's not going to stop there, ladies. What he's going to do is he's got to go deeper. I mean, if he really wants to pull off the manipulation, he's got to go a lot deeper. So what he also has to find out is what are your hopes? What are your dreams? Okay. Um, what, what, what has made you feel shame? What has made you feel guilt? Because once he has this information, this is these are the keys to the safe right here. He don't need anything else. And keep in mind, ladies, you're giving him this information when you're having these long marathon conversations, okay, where you're talking for five and six hours a night, just sharing and sharing and sharing. What is he telling you? I'm going to tell you what he's telling you. Oftentimes, if he's a manipulator, now he starts to mirror you. So all that information, all that intel and all that data that you've given him, now he's mimicking what he has found. Oh, okay. Right. So just like a bank robber is going to rob that bank, now he's robbing you of your heart, your dreams, and your hopes. How many of you, when you look back on the manipulators that you have dealt with, they've taken all of that from you and you didn't even see it coming? Okay, now there are quite a few tactics out here that a manipulator, manipulator uh, may use. Uh, we'll be out here for hours talking about that. But here's one thing that I want to tell you. One major thing that you can do, ladies, if you're dealing with a manipulator, or even if you don't know, is you have to limit the interaction time. It's very tempting in the very beginning to have these marathon conversations, go on these long romantic dates, okay? You got to understand if all you're doing is just giving data, giving him the keys to the kingdom, you got to cut that. All right. So listen, let's limit those phone calls to no more than an hour. All right. And during those phone calls, let's make sure that it's an even exchange. Let's make sure that you're just not answering every single question that he's asking you about 
you know, your life and how you grew up and all this kind of stuff. I'm not saying this is not useful information at some point in the relationship, but he's got to earn the right to get that information. Not all of it right up front. You understand what I'm saying? Because he's hitting you with the good morning, beautiful text and all that. Everybody knows that game, right? But at the same time, he's just trying to lather you up. And also when we go on these dates, we're not going on no 12 hour dates. Okay. Let's go to a dinner maybe a movie, all right? And it's the same dynamic. It doesn't really matter how you're spending the time together. Let's just be wise in the time that we're spending, ladies. And let's stop giving away the codes to the safe. So let me ask you this. Have you given away the codes to your safe? Okay. Have your emotions betrayed you? Because one of the things that happens when you do all this sharing, because you feel like sharing is caring. You feel what I'm saying? And so now you feel like you have this illusion of intimacy. Okay. Now, if you want to stop, okay, if you want to stop wasting your time so that you don't spend another 10 years with some manipulators who don't mean you any good, ladies, and you want to understand, okay, how do I identify these manipulators? All right, how do I keep my emotions in check? You might need a free 30-minute consultation so that we can talk about coaching. Okay, this is what we do. If you know that I've described you, if you know you have a challenge in this area, because if you are an empath, your emotions lead you. You're ruled by your emotions. And it's very easy for somebody to do this to you, manipulate you. You fall for it hook, line, and sinker. sinker. Even with all the red flags out there. How many red flags have you missed while they were sitting there on fire in your face? Your face is getting hot because the red flags are right here. But you just ignored them because your feelings betrayed you. Go to my website, Christopher Reed, R-E-I-D, ChristopherReed.org. You'll see the big red button up there to schedule your free 30-minute consultation so that we can talk about this, ladies. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm not trying to make you seem like uh, make it seem like everybody out here is a manipulator. But the ones who are not, you don't have to worry about them. Okay. But the ones who are, those are the ones you don't want to waste your time with. Okay. Also, every Wednesday, I do a Facebook Live in my Facebook group, The Diamond Mind. Uh, tonight, I'm talking about being chosen versus being targeted. Many women feel like, hey, a guy chose you. He didn't choose you. He targeted you. Okay. There is a huge difference. And if you don't know, you'll fall for being targeted versus being chosen. Ladies, you want to be chosen. Okay. But if you're wasting your time with somebody who's targeting you, you're not available for somebody who wants to choose you. So if you want to be a part of that tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in my Facebook group, uh, go to my website again, ChristopherReed.org, and you can join me tonight. Um, it's an hour long discussion every Wednesday I do an hour long talk and chat with the ladies in the Facebook group I guarantee you you won't be disappointed videos out there that I mean interviews that I've done with men and uh, countless uh, testimonials and you know personal stories of the other ladies out there so I know you enjoy that if you enjoy my videos please subscribe whether you find me on my uh, Doc Reed YouTube channel Instagram Facebook it really doesn't matter follow me if you appreciate the content Ladies, I got to get out of here. I appreciate you for listening. And like I said, you do not have to be taken advantage of by the manipulator. You can beat him at his own game. If he doesn't have the information on you, if you haven't given him the codes, he can't do anything to manipulate you and take advantage of you. So I'm out of here, ladies. Peace.